was grace that taught my heart to feel grace my fear was relieved how precious Welcome back to the Overdriven Podcast. Today we have a special unboxing that comes truly in my time of need. I've been playing a lot of guitar lately and I've been having to do a lot of tuning. And I can't tune just to good enough. I have to get out my Peterson tuner get that as close as I can and then I have to tune by ear until everything is quiet and in tune and it sounds good and it takes a lot of mental energy to do that but today hopefully we have an analog solution a pedal an unboxing within this there may be everything I need or something to just make tuning a little less energy requiring. A Sonic Research tube Turbo turn Tuner. That's a lot to say. A Sonic Research Turbo Tuner. That just arrived by the heroes of the music industry. In a nondescript brown box. We're going to need to get the trusty old David Kent Duel, my father, his Boy Scout knife. Cut this baby open. Bubble wrap, the official armor of the guitar industry. We have the ST300 strobe turner. Can you hear the dogs barking? Even they're excited. Comes in a nice, elegant to open case. Got a little no slip pad. And here it is the Sonic Research Turbo Tuner ST300. Let's try it out. I'll try and tune up the dog barks and cat meows too. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to tune the acoustic so you can kind of see and hear what's happening. So that is the E string. 
And with the circle cycling counterclockwise, it means that the E string is slightly flat, but not by much. So when it sort of moves around like this, like a blob, sort of this organic movement, that means it's in tune. So the A is just a little flat. sharp. Actually, maybe not. We'll tune it up just a little bit. One of the things that they talk about in their uh, material is you tune a little bit better if you can dampen the surrounding strings. You see my favorite string, the G. Oh, it's dead on now. I have a hard time tuning the G. Maybe everybody else does too. Okay, the B is cycling to flat. Turning the um, E. Okay, so when it's doing that sort of organic thing like that. That's pretty in tune. Okay, the E is sharp. I think if you were a person who suffered from seizures at the onset of flashing lights, this tuner could be tough on you. Okay, let's see how everything held together. pretty in tune. Well, I went to go put in a battery because it wasn't didn't click on right away. And it turns out I probably needed to have something plugged into the 
pedal for it to turn on. It's an interesting pedal. As you can see, you only get to see the back of the circuit board. You don't get to see what's inside it. That maybe helps protect some of the contents. Okay, I just want to go over a couple uh, uh, nice features. Obviously, it comes programmed, so you can turn chromatically. You can switch it to guitar, which then you turn by screen numbers. There's a bass. Then there's three custom tunings. One is a drop D. You can switch the mode. There's the button, the out, the in, pretty self-explanatory. Nice little feature is the uh, double nine volt. Uh, so that it, if you do use it on your pedal board, uh, the power can go out and there's a USB to program it. the turbo turner tuner into my life and I found it tunes well it's not really easy I don't think tuning is easy maybe it'll get easy Tinted 